Hi everybody and welcome to my second Pokemon Team Strategy Guide. In this video I'm going to be discussing the team that I used in battles 15 through 26 of my Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle series. So um, this is going to go down pretty much the same way as it did last time. I'm going to talk about everything from natures to items to movesets, uh, abilities, EVs and IVs as well really just the whole nine, uh, so you guys can get an in-depth understanding of this team. So, um, again, I divided the team into two halves, the special attack half and the physical attack half, so um, we are now going to get started with the special attack half. So, we're going to begin with Charizard, and Charizard has always been a personal favorite of mine, and I've always viewed him as competitive, but uh, ever since Gen 6 with the addition of the Mega Evolutions, he is an undeniable threat on the competitive battling scene. So, uh, mine is modest, trained for special attack and speed, so his role is to function as a special sweeper on the team. Uh, as you can see, the item is the Charizardite Y, so uh, he is the Mega of the team, Mega Charizard Y. Um, and when he Mega evolves, his ability becomes Drought, uh, which instantly intensifies the sunlight and uh, benefits not only him in his move set, but also a couple other Pokemon on the team as well, though this is not a Sun team. Um, there is still some synergy there. So uh, the move sets I'm going to do um, from what I consider to be most important to least important move on the set. So uh, number one on this set would have to be Flamethrower. Great power, coverage, accuracy, uh, stab as well, and also a chance to burn, which is uh, very useful. Then uh, we have Air Slash, good power and accuracy, uh, nice coverage as well, uh, also stab and a chance to flinch which is always nice. Uh, then we have solar beam which uh, under intense sunlight doesn't have to charge of course so very useful for uh, Mega Charizard Y particularly. Um, great power, coverage and accuracy from that move as well. And then uh, Lastly, we have Dragon Pulse, which is a little more power coverage and accuracy for Charizard. Next up is Vaporeon, and uh, Vaporeon is modest as well, trained for special attack and HP, so uh, his role is to function as a tank on the team. As you can see, the item is Leftovers, which gives him some more uh, staying power out in battle. Um, and his ability as well, Water Absorb, which grants immunities to uh, Water-type attacks, is also, also useful in battle. Um, by the moveset, you can see uh, I made an attack set, set Vaporeon out of this one, um, just to kind of throw people off. And uh, from uh, most to least important, uh, we have Scald, uh, the Water move for Stab. Uh, power coverage and accuracy, and also a chance to burn, which can be very crucial in battle. Um, then uh, we have Ice Beam, which uh, is more uh, power coverage and accuracy as well. And uh, same thing out of Shadow Ball and Signal Beam. And Signal Beam is kind of just thrown on there, in all honesty. Um, not terribly useful, although uh, it is the next best move he can know. Um, so uh, it has come in handy once or twice, um, so not a bad move overall, but I don't uh, see myself using it too often. Um, next up is Thunderous, and uh, Thunderous is uh, modest also, trained for special attack and speed, so uh, he is a special sweeper on the team as well. Uh, you can see uh, the item is the Life Orb, which gives his attacks an extra kick uh, in exchange for some HP. And uh, since this is Therian Form Thunderous, the ability is Volt Absorb. Uh, I chose to use the Therian Form over the Incarnate Form uh, because uh, of Volt Absorb, uh, but also because uh, he has more power in this form. 
um, which was what I was looking for for this team. So um, the move set uh, Thunderbolt would have to be the most important. Uh, great power, uh, coverage, accuracy, stab, uh, chance to paralyze. Also, um, then. Um, Focus Blast would probably be next. Um, great power and coverage. Accuracy is kind of shaky, uh, but it is still uh, useful at times. Um, Psychic uh, would be next for more uh, power coverage and accuracy. And finally, Dark Pulse for more of the same power coverage and accuracy. Uh, now we move to the physical attack half of the team. And first up on that list is Ambipom. Um, Ambipom is adamant trained for attack and speed. Um, I don't want to go as far as to say he's a uh, physical sweeper because he doesn't really have the power to be classified as such in my opinion, although that is essentially the role he fills on the team. Um, but also, uh, as you can tell by the move set, there's a little more of a toolbox uh, and a strategy uh, to him than that. Um, the item is Focus Sash. He uh, tends to go down pretty easy in uh, one shot, so uh, the Focus Sash is very uh, useful to uh, give him a little more um, time out in battle. Uh, the ability is Technician, which uh, grants an added uh, power boost to uh, the number one move on his set, which is Fake Out. Um, and when you combine that with uh, Stab, you have a very powerful uh, move with an obligatory flinch. Uh, so that is really the uh, key move on the set for him. Um, everything else really changed up quite a bit um, from uh, throughout using him. Um, so Fake Out was actually the only move I had on him the entire time. Um, but this is kind of what I settled on at the end uh, with him. U-turn uh, was there most of the time uh, for good power, um, some coverage, good accuracy, uh, scouting, and uh, the mandatory switch out, which is useful, because uh, then that resets fake out, and you can come back in a little bit later and uh, use fake out again. So that's useful for him to have. Uh, fire punch is uh, power, uh, coverage, and accuracy, and uh, also if uh, the sunlight has been intensified, uh, gets a power boost from that as well, so that's pretty good. And then um, knockoff is um, some decent power um, and accuracy, but uh, it's mainly for uh, removing uh, held items um, to combat opposing uh, either walls or tanks um, to kind of uh, uh, take them down a little quicker. So. Um, that is Ambipom. Uh, next up is Bisharp, and um, Bisharp is adamant as well, and uh, the EV training is a little tricky, but I will explain. Uh, half of his EVs are invested in attack, so his attack stat is maxed out, um, but of the other half of his EVs, two-thirds of that half are invested in his defense and the other third are invested in special defense. And here's why I did this. It goes hand in hand with his held item, the assault vest. Uh, because I wanted to uh, turn Bisharp into uh, not just a physical wall, but a tank instead. So um, I crunched the numbers and I figured out that uh, investing uh, those proportions of uh, EVs in his uh, stats, um, plus giving him the assault vest, uh, would make his defense and special defense stats about equal at level 50, and uh, that is what I wanted to do to maximize his efficiency as a tank, uh, so that is how I trained him. Um, his ability is inner focus, which uh, protects him from flinching, which uh, can be useful from time to time. Um, his move set, uh, number one, would probably have to be a tie between Sucker Punch and Iron Head, um, Sucker Punch is a uh, great power coverage, uh, accuracy, uh, stab, and also priority, which is very useful. Um, although it will fail if uh, the opponent does not attack that turn. Um, so it takes a uh, little strategy to use Sucker Punch uh, in uh, an effective manner. It can backfire very easily, um, but it can also play to your advantage 
if uh, your opponent is predicting a sucker punch and uh, you um, can do another move instead so uh, they you know maybe won't attack thinking they're going to get a free switch or a free you know status move something like that uh, you can hit with another one of your moves instead and um, really make them pay for that so um, and then iron head is uh, more power coverage accuracy um, and a chance to flinch although that doesn't come into play too much because um, Bisharp is relatively slow, so there's not too many Pokemon that it outspeeds. Um, then uh, Brick Break, uh, very useful in um, type matchups with uh, other Dark or Steel types, um, with good uh, power coverage and accuracy. And then uh, Stone Edge has a very good uh, power and coverage. Uh, the accuracy is not the best, but uh, still worth using on him since his move pool is kind of limited. So it works out very well. And uh, finally, on the team, we have Trevenant. And uh, Trevenant is uh, another one of my personal favorites. Uh, he is adamant, trained for uh, physical attack and uh, HP. So he is another tank for the team. Um, his item is the Citrus Berry, which goes hand-in-hand -hand with his ability, which is Harvest. And um, what that does is it will uh, give you a 50% chance of recycling a berry that uh, has previously been used at the end of each turn. Um, that works especially well uh, if the sunlight is intensified uh, because that 50% chance now becomes a 100% chance that the berry will be recycled. So uh, that is a very useful strategy that I've used uh, over and over while using this team. Um, gives him a lot of lasting power out on uh, the battlefield, so um, that works out very well. Uh, the move set, uh, probably uh, most important, would be the Horn Leech. Uh, gives him uh, some good uh, power, stab, accuracy, um, good coverage, and uh, health regeneration, which is uh, very useful um, since that's kind of the point of him is to uh, stick around for a while in battle. Uh, then Drain Punch, uh, minus the stab, does the exact same thing as Horn Leech. Um, the health regen is great to keep him alive longer. Uh, then Earthquake is uh, great power coverage and accuracy, and uh, Rock Slide, some more good uh, power coverage and accuracy. So uh, that's pretty much it for this team. Um, very uh, fun team, I have to say, to use. Um, I really enjoyed using it. Um, but uh, again, um, as was the case before, uh, in order to try and keep things uh, fresh on the channel, uh, I am going to be uh, putting this team aside for now. And uh, from this point forward, I am going to be using a new team. Um, so... Uh, thanks for watching. Again, everybody, as always, feel free to like and or comment on the video, as well as subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned um, for next time. Uh, I will be using a brand new team. So uh, that's it, and we will see you next time.